Concord is PS5's first flop of 2024. The moment Concord was revealed for PS5 back in May, it was obvious the game had one way ticket to Flop City. Years late to the hero shooter trend, trying to infiltrate uh, a very crowded sp- a space featuring established juggernauts and a reveal trailer full of boring characters and cringy writing that looked and sounded like a bootleg Marvel, the odds were immediately against the game. The odds of uh, our winning um, Conquer released today via PS5 and PC, and it's not going well for the game. Unless there's a miracle around the corner, the game is already dead. Now, do we have any like big content creators, like well-known content creators playing this game? Like, well, I'm we, talking about like, like, uh, you know, like Moist, Asmin, XQC, you know, Shroud, like any of those guys, Ninja, like any of those guys. Are they playing this game? Probably not. Asmon at best was talking about it for an article or two, for a video or two, but that's about it. If he did play it, it's just for the memes and just for a couple of hours, I imagine. Mm. So, no. Man, nope. All right. Uh, this is evident by the fact that the game's peak on Steam is so far today has been a measly 665 concurrent users. For context and comparison, another PS5 exclusive console released this week, Black Myth Wukong, which is what we're talking about, peak on Steam at 2.4 million concurrent users. Comparing it to one of the biggest launches on Steam of all time isn't exactly fair enough. Uh, sorry, not fair. Fair, though. Uh, let's compare it to Uncharted Legacy the Thieves Collection, which came out on Steam 2022. Many years later, uh, after the game has been comprised, it's, uh, it grace. Uh, the PS4. There's no universe where Uncharted Legacy of Thieves collection Steam concurrent users in the last 24 hours should be close to the number of Steam concurrent users Concord draws at launch, but they are close. Uncharted 24 peak was 587. Damn, that's actually less than 100. Man, that's bad. That's really bad for this game. Yeah. Uh, but, but I wonder why, though. Right, you have fat bitches, pronouns, ugly mm. characters. Like I said, well, like when you have cosplayers pl- cosplaying your characters, it's huge. But no girls will cosplay ugly fat bitches. I'm just saying. Yep. Like we talked, we talked about Black Mufu Kong. There's a Chinese cosplayer cosplaying as one of the spider ladies from Black Mufu Kong already, and the game hasn't even been out for a week. Mm-hmm. Man, uh, uh, how, how how do you feel? Yeah. Do you like it has to be a miracle, man? Yeah, we I we keep trying to look for that modern audience, but we can't seem to find it. It's like finding Bigfoot. <laughs> it's like finding the modern audience is like finding Bigfoot. And yeah, these people really need to learn the hard way. Like, I don't know, maybe it's that cushy ESG funding that they thought would be unlimited. That's why they get to be arrogant in social media, don't take feedback. And even lash out on your customer, but yeah, I mean, even I, even BlackRock is starting to scale down on their, you know, ESG, all ESG funding. Although I read an art, I read a, I read a tweet from Grums this morning that the DEI is about to get rebranded. It's going to be called Inclusive Growth. That's well, they have, the new- they have to, is because DEI has such a bad taste in people's mouth. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's good. Re- rename it. It's like potato potatoes. Same shit. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're gonna continue to lose money, but anyway, it's their money. They want to do that, then it's their yep. call. Let's see. Uh, it would be one thing to ship a commercial dud, but at least uh, perform critically. But Concord can't hang its hat on that either. On Metacritic, it's currently sitting at sixty nine, a very low score for a PlayStation game, and a bad uh, return for a game that was in development for eight years. Damn, that's a really long time. Uh, yeah. Further in context, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Hell Divers Two, Stellar Blade, and and all success the PS5 has been having this year, Concord's flop sticks out like a sore thumb. We've seen games turn bad situations around with post-launch support, but it's hard to imagine that happening here. What's more likely is that they could very well be a Firewalk Studios' first and final game, and it should be. But we have some Firewalk Studios cocksuckers right over here getting ready. It's like, yo, you the game, you just try the game. We need the numbers to go up. Just try the game. 
right over here from the gamer. Let's give Concord a chance. No. Mm -hmm. We will not. We will not give it a chance. The game looks ugly. Not like that. This is probably what a, a decently attractive character, but where are the boobs? Where's the cleavage? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. The gameplay looks okay, in my opinion. The, the gameplay, okay, not not the character models. The gameplay looks okay, mm -hmm. but again, it's not something. Again, it's not my genre, so that in itself is a huge obstacle. And you're charging charging forty bucks Co in compared to the likes of Overwatch two, to the likes of Valorant, to the likes of Marvel Rivals. <laughs> like you, this game is dead on arrival. There, there's no way. It's like you made it subpar or average at best in comparison to all the other games that are better and they're free it's like yep i don't know and it, and they're not woke at least not as bad as this one yeah and it's the, the only game that we can compare this game to for me that's something that i play is overwatch all right yeah. so the thing is that this game the only the only way that this game could be saved and not not according to this article weekly story updates no that will not save the game what basically pushed Overwatch to its peak, to its highest where it was, is the fucking porn. It's the 3D porn that, that, that they were able to make that's all over the hub, that's all over R34, that's all over Reddit, all right? They have hot characters, and for some reason, Widowmaker is a fucking fooda, and I, I don't get it, but it is what it is, but at least Widowmaker is hot. Now, mm -hmm. will... Will modders take like, not modder, but will animators of these adult content take Concord characters and put them into like, you know, pornography like situations? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Right? Because they're all fat and ugly and not attractive. None of them, they, it would never happen. Right? Now, the, now, if it can maybe save it, but that's what really, really push Overwatch to over the edge is because of the, the 3D porn. But it's not just this article that's literally trying to be a cocksucker or, or, or you know, a, um, a, a sort of, uh, you know, Concord dick writer. Paul Tassie is one of them, too. Right over here. Paul Tassie on X. Okay. I just got out of a movie and, like, there's no way this is right, right? I'm not trying to be mean, but it genuinely doesn't make sense to be this low. I've never seen anything like this. He's yeah. actually mad. Right, if you actually go to his profile, most of it is talking about Concord. Concord peak for Saturday under 500, possible 700 sub launch day will be peak until some sort of big shift, like free to play. So yeah, and then Concord is the 206th most watched uh, game on Twitch right now with 782 viewers. That's not a lot, man. <laughs> 206. You know, look, I wouldn't even mention that anymore if it's that bottom in the chain. Right, uh, this guy is like, oh, th th uh, uh, this this guy hitting hitting up some Concord on yeah. streams. Go support him. Go watch it so the numbers go up. Yeah, I I I think it's average at best. Okay, I'll give it that. The gameplay's at, but if you add in woke politics in it and ugly characters and attacking your players, you're you're setting it up for defeat. W what else is there? It's like, and you're charging forty bucks. So yeah, yeah you can cope all you want. Well, Paul Tassi is like. He's like the Alyssa Mercanti of Forbes. So nope, not a surprise. Uh, yeah. And right over yeah. here, this guy says, I'm going to need Xbox fans to keep Concord out their mouths for real. And then you have Halo Infinite doing better. And plus it's Halo. Mm -hmm. It's an established title. But Halo Infinite had a very, very rough launch. It was really yeah. bad when it came out. Yeah, Halo's kind of dead. The original team behind it is gone. So I don't expect 343 to rebound Halo. Yeah, but anyway, it's still anyway. The point is still better than Concord. Yeah, yeah. Right over here, interesting Steam ratings. At least they're pretty good. Yo, that's some hard cope, man. That's so cope, man. It's like at <laughs> least the game is good. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, dude. That, that's a, that's like the equivalent of me saying it's average at best. But who cares? It needs to make money. You can have games with shitty reviews, but if it makes a shit ton of money, and that's all that matters for them to survive and make the next game. All right, and let's now check out uh, Concord's uh, Steam charts right over here. We I just refreshed it. Currently, it has 368 players. All-time peak today was 473. All-time peak yesterday, which is the when the game came out, was under 700. Now, I don't think... Let's say all of a sudden Concord comes out 
and sponsors these big streamers. We'll pay you $10,000 just to stream it for two hours, right? They pay like OTK, uh, freaking um, be, be, the phase, Nin- the, the phase Nin- team. Nin- Ninja, Asmund Gold, yeah. 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 yeah, basically all the big XQC will pay you $10,000. Please just stream it for two hours. Please, please, please. Then you'll have a lot of people. And, it's, and, and you know, the thing is that most of these guys will be honest with it. This game sort of yeah. sucks. Seems yeah. sort of sucks, right? But yeah. the thing is that you'll get viewers, but will you get players though? Will people buy the yeah. game? Maybe if they did that, maybe it'll get to two K max, in my opinion. If like if they really blow the budget on these large content creators, maybe two K max, in my opinion. Two okay, two two to two point five. That's my estimate. But even then, it's not. It's gonna be extremely short lived. That's but, true. And, and they're, they're they're not gonna recoup their their cost of you know getting these large content creators to <laughs> stream their game. No way. But you know, also it's really funny though. You see Concord's numbers right over here, mm-hmm. the all time peak. Mm-hmm. This is Gollum's. Oh, it could okay. Oh man. Oh. And oh. And Gollum costed seventy dollars at launch, so they made more money. <laughs> Man, and, and, and it's not a live service game, so there's no recurring cost for Gollum. So Gollum made more money. <laughs> Damn, dude, the fact Gollum that made more money. Gollum made more money than Concord is crazy. <laughs> oh man dude that's oh man that's 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 a feels bad man the, the fact that Gollum is doing better thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg Row podcast if you like what we do here please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come thanks and we'll see you guys next time